What is going on everyone's near again and welcome back to the Pokemon Yellow playthrough. We got Pikachu, we're in Viridian City, Viridian Town, I think it's City, even though there's like not that many buildings here. And uh, we're going to be going forth, we're going to raise Pikachu up slightly, we're going to make our way through the Viridian Forest, this is definitely going to be a big goal and hopefully we're going to be able to take on Toucan who is our rival in this game. Take him on, he's uh, sitting there west of Viridian City. Uh, hopefully race Pikachu up to the point which he can defend himself, you'll take him out and then uh, hopefully wind off the episode in Pewter City which will basically set us up to be able to take on Brock, the gym leader, so we'll see how that works. But for right now we're going to be walking through for people to fight and people to battle and you know any little thing we can do to try and raise up Pikachu the best we can. So, oh you want to find it, you got, you got your Nidoran female over here. Pika. We're going to do Thunder Wave to start, paralyze him up real good, make it so he can't hit us back, or at least have a chance to not be able to hit us back, and then uh, hopefully we're good to go in terms of that. Let's go Thunder Shot! Yeah. yeah not, not so bad. Not, I mean, it wasn't the most damage in the world. Now one thing about the Pokemon uh, Yellow playthrough, you have to remember this, is part of Pokemon Yellow is they try and make it very similar to this first season of Pokemon, the television series, with Ash and his Pikachu. That's what they're trying that's what they're trying to go for when they made this game. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you know anything about the actual television series, that Pikachu has never evolved. There are how many seasons in the Pokemon right now and Pikachu has never evolved because he does not want to. Now they do that exact same uh, situation here in Pokemon Yellow where essentially Pikachu will not evolve. You can try and give him a Thunderstone to make him become a Raichu. Not gonna happen. He does not want to evolve. It will simply not happen. So we gotta keep that in mind. Which is okay though, I'm fine with Pikachu. Raichu's pretty cool, but you know, you got Pikachu. Pikachu's cool in his own right, I guess. Head this way. I know there's plenty of Pokeballs to find throughout here. Pokeballs, i.e. items. There's a lot of those throughout here. I know there's a couple guys over here that would like to battle. Hello. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Yeah, good call. This guy's, oh yeah. Oh, look at this guy's got 20-20 vision. He's catching me all the way up here. Hey, you Pokemon too. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh crap, I forgot to heal Pikachu. Alright, it's a Caterpie though. What's the worst Caterpie is gonna do? String shot me? <laughs> you know? He ain't gonna do a whole lot. I think I think we'll survive somehow. But I just realized though, next episode, the third episode, when we're going up in Pewter City, uh, that's actually gonna be somewhat difficult because Pikachu only knows electric moves at this point and we're facing rock Pokemon. So, yeah, it's probably going to be a bit difficult, although Pikachu is now level 9, and I don't even think we're going to need to heal him up for this battle, solely for the fact that we're only going up against Caterpies, Caterpies obviously very easy to take out, so, I mean, you're only doing 3 points of damage per thing, and one more Thunder Shock, and I should take out, yep. Alright, Pikachu definitely needs heal though. The beauty of it though, Potion's uh, regular Potion will heal 20 damage, or heal 20 hit points, I guess you would say, and uh, that's exactly how much Pikachu needs to be back to full health, so, oh, accidentally pressed B, my bad. Let's potion him up. While we're up here, we're gonna try and find us a decent level uh, Caterpie as well. I never really care for the music in Breeding in Breeding Forest. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Can you tell this game was made in the 90s? Who says jam out? <laughs> Metapod. That's what I'm looking for. One of them Metapods. I have an awesome strategy going into it too. Uh, some people make, if you're going for a Butterfree, some people make the rookie mistake of evolving Caterpie, like, as soon as it's able to evolve, and then letting it turn into Metapod. The one, you, get, you have to remember that once Metapod's a Metapod, he's, like, completely worthless, and he can, like, only use Hardened. So, you gotta keep that in mind. Ooh, crap, I just dropped part, or just dropped my, <laughs> bar of my headset down there, my other, my gaming headset was sitting on my knee for some reason, and it just fell. That's okay. But uh, what I plan on doing a Caterpie is I'll raise him up to like level 9, right, and then let him evolve at level 9, then he'll only have to go through a couple levels as a Metapod, and that way he'll turn into Butterfree faster, we will be good to go. But one thing I've noticed though, I've always felt this way, I feel as though Butterfree is definitely the better one. Does that make sense? Butterfree is definitely the better of, uh, you know, between Beedrill and Butterfree, Butterfree wins every time. Beedrill is like next to worthless in my eyes. He's I mean, he's cool, he's cool and everything, but he's just, uh, you know, some of them. Alright, now we got that all out of the way. If you're wondering about my battle strategy, right now I'm spamming Thundershocks. That's the only move I have that does damage right now. Basically spam Thundershocks all the way to the point of, uh, <laughs> crying for the other guys. 
I'm gonna be the best, you just can't beat me. Alright. Basically spam and Thundershocks, that's basically all we can do right now, we have no Pokemon. I'm, I've walked through the grass somewhat throughout this episode so far, and yet we're, you know, still haven't found any uh, wild Caterpie or wild Metapod, which I'd rather go for Caterpie anyway. I'm, uh, best case scenario, when you're this early in the game, best case scenario, you'll find yourself a level 5. Like, um, when I would play through and I would like try and get myself my Pidgey or, you know, get like a Rattata or something. Best case scenario, you want to find them at level 5. That's about as high of a uh, level you're going to you're gonna find wild Pokemon in this area uh, throughout, like, you know, Route 1, Route 2, and whatnot. So, I keep that in mind. If I can find me a level 5 Caterpie, I'd be very happy. And down goes Metapod. I like going against Metapod. It gives me a lot more XP just because he's an evolution and uh, has a little bit more health. So, that's definitely a cool thing. I'm thinking we're going to find something in this grass. Really? Alright, whatever. I'll keep on going. There's plenty more grass where that came from. Yeah. Cat or P. Cat. Uh. Yeah. Level 4. Yeah, it's, I have to raise him? No. It, no. It's not even worth it. Alright. Cat or P. Cat or P. Yeah, B. Not level 3. Damn it. <laughs> Part of my language, but still. Eh. Uh. I don't want to raise him up from level three, because getting him past, getting him up to like level five, up to the point where he can actually defend himself is just obnoxious. Darn, really? So many level three Caterpies chilling out right now. We're gonna do what we can. I mean, I'm almost the end of the freaking Viridian Forest here. Hey, we did be which the hurry? Shut your mouth, you bug catching ten year old self. Ah, oh, how come he's got a cool Caterpie? Jeez. Okay, Pikachu will take him out. Come on, Pikachu, you can do it. One more hit, I'll take him out, huh? One more hit. But uh, I don't believe there's anyone else higher up than this guy. I think the rest of this is just grass until you hit uh, the entrance in the pure city. Trying to learn quick attack? Uh uh. Alright. We'll learn, we'll learn some quick attack. We'll get rid of, we'll get rid of Growl. Oh, wow. Amulator, like, paused on me for a second. Yeah. You're so good at this. Yes, yeah, so let's walk up here. I'm almost pause if there's no other people. Come on, Caterpie, Caterpie. Cat yes, yes. Not level three. Something higher. Level four. I'll take it. I'll take it. Why not? Thunder wave. Yeah. He's paralyzed, might not be able to attack. He used screenshot, oh no. Let's item. Pokeball. One, two, three. Yeah, oh, Carrie apparently only takes three. Carrie was caught. Carrie didn't want to put up a fight. <laughs> Let's read what the old Pokedex has to say. If you touch the feeler at the top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. Ew. It's only one foot tall, which if you picture though, picture, you know, a caterpillar that's one foot tall. You know, that's still pretty cool. But watch, this, this one's gonna be like level five, just because, I, okay. I was gonna say, just because I caught that caterpie, it's level four. Now that now this next one, everyone's gonna find from now on, it's level five. So what I wanna do, I didn't buy a paralyzed heal. Hmm. Let's put caterpie up here. Try and raise caterpie the best we can on our way back. Although I could use the awesome super speed to get back there, but me. Bum, bum. Little, oh, Caterpie looks cool. Let's try a tackle. He's at, definitely at a disadvantage right now because Cater my Caterpie's paralyzed. He's fully paralyzed. He can't. He couldn't hit him right there. There we go, Caterpie. It's gonna be a slugfest. Is what it's gonna be. You versus the other Caterpie, and you're paralyzed. You can do it, my Caterpie. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ah. He's paralyzed. Come on, hit him. There you go. All right, let's let's get another one in there. Yeah, you know you like it. Let's get him again. Ah, he's fully paralyzed. This wild Caterpie sucks. Keep on getting them. Come on, one more. Actually, he's probably gonna take two. Ah, he got the one. Ha! Ah, Thirty XP. Woo! That's almost not even worth you know, having you in there. I might as well just wait up. Ooh, a metapod. I might as well just wait till I get down to face um, my rival, Toucan. 
I go face him, put Carapy in first, and switch out for Pikachu. So when Pikachu knocks out whatever Pokemon it is, Carapy will get some XP from it. There we go. Got, got a nice long run through the grass right there. I can only be so lucky. Ah, I was gonna say, I probably can't be that lucky going through this patch of grass. Hey, oh, see, that emulator lagged on me a little bit there. I don't know why it's doing that, but it is. Alright, let's run from... Oh, no, they're gonna knock out poor Caterpie. That's gonna probably knock him out. Oh, run away, Caterpie. Alright, you got it. Ow. Alright. Well, actually, let's go in this way so I can skip myself a step. Let's cut over across this way. Get her down yonder. Is it funny that I've played this game so much that I know the routes and everything? It's, you know, Brady and Forest is not even confusing to me. When I play a new Pokemon game, on the other hand, though, I'm very confused. Really not gonna let me run. Come on, one more time. Ah! Come on, it's a little three, Caterpie. I'm about to put out my Pikachu, just kick your ass. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, damn. Oh, you know what? This is what the super speed's for, boys. Run, run. Bring out my next Pokemon? No. All right, I'll bring out Pikachu. Run. Ah! See how fast that is with super speed? Pretty awesome, right? We can get through boring parts. Bum, bum, bum. Caterpie did get knocked out. If you guys didn't, you guys can tell from the super fast thousand times speed. So we're gonna get down. We're gonna heal up Caterpie, and we're gonna go take on Toucan, our rival. So hopefully, we'll, so hopefully some entertainment will ensue from that. I'm assuming it will. Uh, let's go up here in the Pookie Mansioner. Let's heal him up. We got Chansey sitting there with a the nurse. That's kind of cool. Good old Nurse Joy. Where's Officer Jenny and all this? I think Officer Jenny is actually the one who gives you the Squirtle in Vermilion City, so keep that in mind. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Kinda of jerk, why would you hope to see me again? Or you hope my Pokemon get hurt? Bitch. Oh, this place is pretty cool. This is where you can find sparrows, and I think you can find a Mankey in here too. That's always neat. Um, pray if we don't catch up oh, nope we're good and here comes toucan bum, 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 bum. hey Nero you're going to the Pokemon League forget you probably don't have any badges the card won't let you through though by the way did your Pokemon get any stronger you could say that you could say that my Pokemon got a tad bit stronger you're gonna send out Sparrow aha bad move go Caterpie Alright, righteous, righteous. Now we're gonna switch out for Pikachu. Pikachu's gonna take out this sparrow easily. And then uh Caterpie will get a bunch of XP from it, so definitely I'll Oh no, my attack went down. It's actually pretty bad. It's gonna hurt me in the long run in this battle. And oh, so it probably wouldn't one hit kill if you didn't use growl on me previously. There you go. I think that might put Caterpie up to level five. Yeah! And he's about to use Eevee. Will I switch Pokemon? Yes, I will. I'm going to put Caterpie out. Hopefully Caterpie can... Uh... Oh, Eevee's only level 8? Wow. That's like nothing. So we're going to put Caterpie out. We're going to switch out Pikachu. So now Caterpie will get a little experience from this battle as well. I don't know. Not a tackle. Let's use Thundershock. Maybe I should have Thunder Waved him, huh? Paralyze him up to start. Oh, nope. He's going to get paralyzed regardless. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Definitely helps. Thunder shock that fool. Yeah, let's get you one more time. Now I'll probably hit him with a quick yeah, I'm gonna hit him with a quick attack now. Ah no, sand attack. Quick attack might have more uh, there we go. Uh, the quick attack might have more accuracy. Nope, he still misses. Darn. Let's try it again. Bam, there we go. It should be the end of EV. Yep. And we defeat our rival. Carapy got 78 XP. He's now level 6. Whee! Pikachu, we got 78, still hasn't hit level 12 yet, that's okay. Oh, you just looked out. Caterpie better not be trying to evolve. Alright, I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out what how to get past them. You should quit toddling and get a move on. Don't you tell me my business? Did anyone else, when they first started playing this game, and he does, when he does that cool walk away, is anyone else like dead sprint, like, okay, I gotta catch him, gotta catch him, gotta catch him, only to realize you're never gonna be able to catch him? Ah, another ran male. Neither King's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, so. But, no real need for a poison Pokemon. Now, the probably the strongest Pokemon in history of Pokemon would definitely be, in my eyes anyway, Ice-types. Ice-types just seem to like, trump everything, so you gotta keep that in mind as well. 
But uh, I think we're end off the episode once we make our way into Pewter City. Maybe get a couple battles in with Caterpie. That could definitely help out. This should be like my alarm clock is this song right now. And they changed the song on me. Jerks. Ah, I'm one step into the grass and I already caught some or ran into someone, stepped on a freaking metapod. Yeah. Annoying. I've been thinking a little bit lately about how cool Pokemon would be if it was like the you know the rights to a Pokemon game were sold to Bethesda Studios, the people that made Skyrim, and making like a giant Skyrim-esque game, but with Pokemon, you know, first person, or I guess you can call it first or third person, depending on what you feel like doing, um, you know, do that, you know, have the Pokemon actually be in the wild similar to, I'm not sure how many of you played, you know, actually played Skyrim, but kind of similar to Skyrim, like, uh, you know, you find like a wild deer, or if you, you know, rare, you'll find a big dragon, or you'll find an elk, or you find a troll, or whatever, or, or I think, no, they're not called trolls, they're called giants. You find, like, a giant, you know, things like that, and have those be Pokemon. And then have awesome Pokemon be a bit more rare. For example, you go, you know, they make the entire Pokemon Red world. What were we in? The Kanto region, I'm pretty sure it's called. They make the entire Kanto region, right? Maybe expand on it, make, obviously make it so it's not as tiny as this. Make, you know, I'm sure Viridian Forest would be, like, a gigantic, uh, big, scenic part of the game. Do that. Uh, but uh, make like a part like, where, where you're by the ocean or something and if you gain the ability to surf you can go surf with your Pokemon and you go out there and maybe you know by the luck of the draw you maybe find a, a giant Gyarados out there in the ocean somewhere you'll find like a Tentacruel popping its head out of the water you know get all these big cool Pokemon like that get that then make it like uh, like an MMORPG you know but make it you know massive multi or massive multiplayer online Make it so you join worlds similar to, um, I never really played many of these games. Uh, I did play RuneScape when I was younger though, so maybe like a RuneScape style thing where you join this world, join this world, join, depending on how many people are in there. Um, you can also like, join a world specifically, so you know you can tell your friends, hey, I'm in this world, so you can go join. Uh, you guys go travel about together and go accomplish stuff and uh, have fun that way. It'd be super cool, like you and your friends traveling together throughout the world in like this Skyrim Pokemon style game. and. Catching Pokemon and being able to brag to your friends about, you know, how you, you know, you, you found a Growlithe and then turned it into an Arcanine and then Arcanine, how cool he is, you know, and have him walking around with you and stuff. Little cool things like that, being able to find other, tra other trainers in the game, battle them and whatnot. Don't even act like that wouldn't be, like, the coolest game in the history of ever. Like, <laughs> that would just be probably the most awesome game ever, ever, ever. But I, I feel as though they would have to, like, implement some form of, uh, like, a, tra like a, like a fast travel style thing if you were to try and fly somewhere because I can't imagine like teaching fly to your Pidgey and then having your giant like six foot tall character on top of this like one tall one foot tall you know baby bird and like having him fly you around so I'm sure it you know if they were to fly I'm sure that would be some form of a fast travel idea right I don't know, I, I haven't thought too much about it, that, that's why I've got so far, that's why I think would make for an awesome game goodness gracious I'm fast forwarding, this is ridiculous, there we go Jeez. Whew, finally out. It was getting annoying running all them Pokemon in there. I know I know for a fact grass right there is not that great. Oh, see we got a color change. Let's do the color change. Green. Gray. Green. Gray. Green. Gray. And the music changes as well, so it's kinda cool. But Trainer tips. Ah, I was gonna say welcome to Pure City. Uh Pure City is actually inside the or the sign for Pure City is actually right in here. To the pier. There. Pure City, a stone gray city. Awesome descriptions. I love it. But we're going to find the Pokemon Center. We're going to end off the episode. Next episode. Oh, man. We're definitely going to have to do some training. I'm not sure if next episode we're actually going to attempt to take on the gym. Because that could be that could definitely present some problems for us with a level 5 Carapete and a level 11 Pikachu. When the Pikachu is not going to really do much against the rock types. Um, maybe we raise, maybe we raise up Caterpie to the point in which he can, you know, turn into a Butterfree and hopefully, you know, we'll do some things that way. We'll figure it out. There's that guy in the hat again. But I hope you guys all enjoyed episode two of the Pokemon Yellow playthrough. And if you did, remember to rate the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.